Lesson 4, Battles. Part 1. How do I make a person battle the player? This guy will be our example of a battle script. This is the Route 3 Bug Kid. When we talk to this guy, he's gonna say, Hey, I saw you in the Viridian Forest. And then he battles us. When we finish battling him, he tells us again, You beat me again. Afterwards, nothing much happens, but if we talk to him, he'll tell us something else. But he won't battle us again. So let's replicate his script. By now you should know the drill. Let's go ahead and open up Notepad. We'll start off the script the same way we usually do. But then we're going to come to a new command called Trainer Battle. There's four types of Trainer Battles. Trainer Battle OXOO, -O, OXO1, OX03 and OX09. Trainer Battle OX00 is just a regular battle. It displays text before the battle and on victory. So it's just a basic every random trainer battle. Trainer Battle OX01 is a continuing battle, as I call it. It displays text before the battle, on victory, and it can continue the script after the battle, as long as you put a little indicator to let the game know that you want it to do that. Trainer Battle OX03, I call it a formal battle. It displays text on victory, but none before the battle, so it just goes immediately into the battle sequence. But, it continues the script by default, which means after the Trainer Battle command has been finished, it automatically continues the script. When in a normal trainer battle, trainer battle OXOO for example, the script ends after the trainer battle command. And then we have trainer battle OX09, and this is a really fancy battle as I call it. It displays text on victory and defeat. Notice none at the beginning, so it immediately again goes straight into the battle sequence. But if you lose the battle, if the player loses the battle, text is displayed. So it's very customizable. You could define an introduction message, and then you have your own little after the battle sequence. You get this text displayed to you, and if you win, you get this text displayed to you. And then after, you could have something else displayed to you. There's infinite possibilities with this one command. You can initiate massive scripts with this one little tiny command. No, not really. Disregard that. It also continues the script by default, just like the other one. So the trainer battle we're going to use right now is trainer battle OXOO. So let's put that into our script. We will type trainer battle OXOO OXOO. Now, the first set of OXOOs represent the trainer battle. So we wanted a normal trainer battle, OXOO. The second set of zeros, they represent the trainer you're battling. And the way we figure that out is going into a program called PET. It has all the trainers in the game. All their data is stored in this program. If we scroll all the way up to the top, we have a lot of blank spaces, empty slots that we can use. So let's make a little trainer to use for this tutorial. When we're all finished customizing him to have cool moves and cool Pokemon, make sure to get this number next to his name. So let's put that in. OX01. Now we put in offset C. Offset win. Now we define it. Offset C1 equals battle move. Offset win 1 equals I lost. Now let's add a message to it. Release, end. So now we've covered Trainer Battle OXOO. Let's move on to the next one. Trainer Battle OXO1. Instead of
instead of starting from the very beginning, let's just edit the script that we already have, because trainer battles are very similar to each other. Remember this OXOO? This represents our trainer battle type. Now we already had OXOO, so this time let's replace it with OXO1, because that's the trainer battle that we want to use. Now that we've done that, we have to go to the end of this line and add another offset. Offset further. This offset will continue our script after the battle. So let's go down to the very end of the script and write it. Binary or offset further. And uh, let's just make it do message after. And we already have it defined up there, so we don't have to worry about it. So now we've finished Trainer Battle OX00 and OX01. Let's move on to OX03. We're going to overwrite these OX00s with OX03. Afterwards, we're just going to move on down the line and delete the offset C. This is because Trainer Battle OX03 does not have to have text prepared for when the trainer encounters the player. So that was Trainer Battle OX03. And let's move on to the last one, Trainer Battle OX09. To start things off, let's replace our OX00 with OX09. Afterwards, we move down the line and delete Offset C, because once again, Trainer Battle OX09 does not have text at the beginning of the battle. If you want text to appear, use a message command before the Trainer Battle. After we delete C, we're going to add a new offset after win. It's offset lose. This will determine the text that appears if the player loses the battle. So that's all our trainer battles. Part 2. How do I upgrade my Poke script? The first thing you need to do is download this file. Then you extract it. Next, you're going to want to go to My Computer. From there, you should see your folder PokeWitch. Double click it and open it up. Inside this folder, you should see another folder called Pokemon Advanced. This is the database for PokeScript. The old one, however. Click on your new folder and drag it into PokeWitch. It'll ask you if you want to overwrite stuff. Do it. Overwrite all the files that you can. Once you've done this, you've successfully upgraded your PokeScript. Part 3. How do I enable or disable a battle? All you have to do is write a script containing the command enable trainer OXOO. The OXOO is whatever trainer you want to enable. So therefore, I'm going to write OX01 because that's the trainer we've been using this whole time. The same goes for disabling a battle. All you have to do is input the command disable trainer OXOO. When we're all finished inserting our scripts, we should have these six different people, each with a script assigned to them. Let's start with our enable trainer guy. If you have trouble understanding either one of these concepts, you might want to try re-watching this tutorial.